Well, good Wednesday evening, everyone. We had a little bit better weather day out there today. Finally saw a little bit of sunshine. It did get a little bit cloudy there towards the afternoon, but we are looking at uh, for the most part, you can see clear skies. Clear skies are going to stick around tonight. Winds are very calm, so this is going to allow our temperatures to really bottom out as low as they can go and most likely down to the 30s if you do live away from the city. Now, one thing I do want to quickly mention is that since we do have clear skies, we're getting close to sunset. You're actually going to have a pretty cool opportunity to check out a number of planets in the night sky tonight. So once that sun goes down, it starts getting a little bit darker. Just look towards the western sky. You'll be able to see Jupiter and Mercury very low into the sky. It will basically be just above the horizon. You look a little bit further up, you'll be able to see Venus. Mars will be even higher and also the crescent moon. That should be shining bright tonight again as well. So a pretty cool opportunity. All you have to do is look towards the west. Should have clear skies and temperatures. Pretty comfortable over the next couple of hours, but they will be dropping into the 30s as we head in the late tonight. Now we have seen a big roller coaster ride of temperatures over the past couple of weeks. We were cooler than average today. Heading into tomorrow, we are finally back more seasonal, at least hitting the 70s tomorrow afternoon. Then we're talking 80s Friday, Saturday, another brief seasonal cool down on Sunday. That's going to be, uh, be behind a cold front that will unfortunately bring us a chance for some rain by Saturday. Here's a look at low temps tonight, and this is for areas away from the city. So that 36 you see for Augusta, that is for Bush Field. So that is the official observation site for Augusta, but that is for anywhere outside of the Bobby Jones Expressway. So anywhere away from a city environment, you're dropping into the 30s. Places like Daniel Field that are just in more interior Augusta, kind of in an urban environment, those places will likely stay in the 40s tonight. So a decent temperature difference thanks to our urban heat island effect. If you are heading out to Champions Retreat tomorrow for day two of the Augusta National Women's Amateur, it is going to be a cold start for those early tea times, but luckily lots of sun and we will be warming up pretty quickly. Should be able to uh, already be the, in the mid 60s by around lunchtime and then high temperatures will hit the 70s. We had some wind that was a factor early this morning for day one at Champions Retreat, but a completely different story tomorrow. Wind is going to be almost non-existent throughout the day Thursday. This is going to be thanks to a big dome of high pressure just centered right over the CSRA. So this is going to bring us pretty calm winds. And through most of the day, wind speeds are not really expected to get above five miles per hour, believe it or not. So one of the calmer days we've seen in a good bit. Um, nice lake weather the next couple of afternoons. If you do want to head up to Clarks Hill, a uh, little bit warmer by Friday, and that's when the wind will be picking up again, most likely seeing winds out of the south um, Friday, anywhere from around 5 to 12. And lake temperatures right now are currently in the mid to low 60s, at least around the Plum Branch Yacht Club. So lake temps have warmed back up uh, since we were in the 50s just last week. Now, looking at your hour by hour through tonight, we are going to stay with clear skies. Winds will be calm. We'll see those temps bottom out uh, to be pretty cold early tomorrow morning. Throughout the day, Thursday, we're going to see plenty of sun. That wind direction will be mainly out of the southeast, but remember, just not expecting a ton of wind out there throughout the day, Thursday. On Friday morning, we're going to stay warmer, most likely only dropping into the mid to upper 40s Friday morning. And then later into the afternoon, you can see the cloud cover returning. Still going to see a good bit of sunshine Friday, but most uh, we're going to turn kind of partly cloudy into the afternoon and we will stay dry Friday. And with those south winds beginning a little bit breezier, that should draw in some warmer temps and we should be able to see the 80s again Friday afternoon. Now heading into Saturday, this is when our next cold front arrives. Looks like it's going to bring us the opportunity for at least some hit or miss showers, possibly a thunderstorm. Um, so just a heads up, if you do have weekend plans, Sunday definitely looks like the drier of the two weekend days. Saturday doesn't necessarily look like we're going to see uh, too much in the way of heavy rainfall, but it'll just be a quick passing front that will at least bring us the opportunity for some wet weather. So a heads up um, at the moment, the severe weather chances look very low. We have not been placed underneath a uh, risk area for the storm prediction center just yet, but it's something that we're going to closely monitor because this time of year, any front that comes through just kind of has that low end potential with it. But good news is it does clear out by the weekend. So by Sunday, we're back to dry weather, seasonal highs into the 70s. Should be a nice end to the weekend. Here's a look at your full seven day forecast. Remember, bundle up tomorrow morning. It will be a cold start to our Thursday, but hopefully that will be the last morning in the 30s for the rest of the season. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we're kind of done with these winter like temperatures once we get past tonight. 
Uh, but other than that, just watch out for the storms this weekend. Next week, looks like we're going to have some more rain in the forecast that we're going to have to deal with. So um, we'll deal with that once we get to it. But hopefully you have a great evening and night. We'll see you again on News 12 at 11.